stock up now while supplies are available. Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Turn back the scorched. Take the fire breathers exam. Join today. Overseer's log, Charleston Fire Department. Automation used to define life in West Virginia. Now it's the only thing left. These training programs that the responders have set up. How many survivors were running through these? It takes a certain calling to voluntarily run into the middle of a fire. Rescue people. Looks like they kept up that spirit. Even as the dangers changed. They must have fought the scorched up close more than anyone. I need to find out what they knew. Oh, a, a new person to talk to. Are you here to become a fire breather, too? Wow! That's awesome! Whew, uh, maybe we can study together. That knowledge exam sure is hard. Wow! Uh, you want to get to know me? <clears throat> My name is Tiffany, and I'm trying to become the greatest fire breather that Appalachia has ever seen. It is my sworn duty in life to try and stop the Scorched Invasion from taking over the world! Or at least Appalachia. Oh boy! Am I glad you asked! I love talking about the fire breathers. They're only the most elite team of responders out there, dedicated to saving Appalachia from the dreaded Scorch. The, they all gave their lives fighting against the Scorch, bless their souls. Uh, if only they had access to the vaccine that we do now. 
the best way to pay respects is to continue their mission and keep fighting those scorched. Whatever you need to know, I'll try my best to answer. Well, <laughs> I absolutely crushed the fitness exam. I guess it's easy to move quickly when you're running for your life. <laughs> However, I've been having a really tough time with the knowledge exam. The questions on there are really hard. If only there was some sort of study guide. Oh, <laughs> oh that, that that's very kind of you to offer, but really, I can't accept. Cheating is wrong and will do me no good. <laughs> I don't want to be out on the field taking on the scorch without proper knowledge. The best way for me to be prepared is to do it all on my own. Any day now, though, you'll be calling me Tiffany the Fire Breather Brantley. <laughs> Oh, you should take this, though. It won't be doing me any good while I'm stuck in here studying. No worries, friend. Let me know if you need anything else. Seriously. Anything at all. You don't mind if I record. You're Captain Melody. Don't need my permission. Huh. So how's it look out there, Hank? <sighs> well, I uh, found some more survivors. Started shooting at me the second they saw me. Like the rest. Sounds about par for the course. Seems like there's not a sane mine south of Mount Blair. Anything else? Ashes piling up faster than we expected. But going by the maps the earlier teams did, it at least doesn't seem to be spreading anymore. So, we've only lost Welsh, Beckley, Lewisburg, and everything around them. Little blessings, I suppose. Oh, and actual good news. Hand Mining. Ha! <laughs> Been a long time since I've heard good news and Hand Mining said back to back. No kidding. But that excavator armor they made ruined the company. Rumor is it's tough as nails, and they still got the plans on site. Could you imagine what a patrol would be like if we could figure out how to make those things? Yeah, locals would hopefully be a lot less inclined to shoot first. 
Bingo. You give me a day or two. I can head back down there, see what I can do. No. Garahan can wait. You need rest. Head up to Morgantown. That excavator armor will still be there. Now go.
All right, it's recording. Thank you again for reaching out to me. I can't tell you how shocked I was to to find out your letter was the real deal. Of course, Miss Carter. Hope the trek wasn't too arduous. It was an experience. 
Not a lot of my interviews start with a bag over my head. Just glad it didn't end up being a prank. I apologize for that. Maintaining a low profile is... a requirement for us now. And why is that, Senator? Why did you leave your position so suddenly? Leaving? was the only way I thought I'd be able to protect my family, Miss Carter. But I've since realized that I've left a lot of other people I care about in grave danger. I was hoping you could help me correct that. What are you talking about, Senator? There are sinister forces at work in the halls of government. I and my fellow members of the free states will no longer be shackled to the putrefying courts of this nation. No, nor should anyone who values their lives. There is only one recourse left for the people of the United States. Strike out on your own. Take whatever you can carry. Get off the grid and get there fast. The end is coming, Miss Carter. And when it does, your government has no interest in keeping you safe. Sinister forces? The end is coming? Senator, you're making some big claims here. Do you have evidence to back it up? This is not some doomsday fever dream, if that's what you're asking, Miss Carter. I received my information from reliable sources. Yes. And I'm supposed to take your word for it? You're going to have to, Miss Carter. I'm trying to save lives, not put more at risk by exposing my sources. Senator, I I'm not trying to be rude here, but it sounds like you're trying to start a panic, and, and without evidence, I'm not willing to be a part of that. I also have it under the strictest confidence that you've been seen making multiple visits to a certain Charleston neurologist as of... My health is not the issue here, Miss Carter. These are people's lives. The executive branch, captains of industry. The Department of Agriculture. I peeked into their world and they threatened my life, my daughter's life. We're just pawns to them. And the only way we survive is to step off the board. All I'm asking is that you share that message. I, I meant no offense. You just have to know how this looks from my end. I... I understand. It's just a sensitive topic. Would you mind if I asked you one last question? If it means you'll get the word out, go ahead. You never resigned as senator. Is that something you're planning to do? I am. Consider this interview my formal resignation. Spread the word, Miss Carter. All I ask is that my warning goes with it, and nothing else. Now, if you wouldn't mind, my daughter and I have a lot to do. We're on our own out here, after all. I'm William Breyer, investigative reporter for the Charleston Herald. I'm currently standing just outside the security fencing of one of several horn ride industrial sites that have cropped up around the area in recent months. I'm here tonight to try and get some answers to what has become known in certain circles as Mother Load Project. Could this be the answer local mining families have been looking for? A series of new mining projects that could reinvigorate the local economy, or as the environmental groups have suggested, be a fresh set of toxic disposal sites, poisoning the ground beneath our feet. At the very least, according to local experts, the area's recent increase in seismic events can almost certainly be tied to these sites. And now I'm here to see for myself what's really going on. I've just made my way up to a small gap in the first line of fencing. The security here is intense. Barbed wire, Armed guards? Feels like a war zone. I'm making my way over a small ridge and I... Mother of God! Ground shaking and... Oh my God. 
Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation.
examination will begin in 15 seconds. Exam initiated. Activate initial checkpoint. Checkpoint activated. Checkpoint activated. Return to start. your father and her gran and their sisters. We spent weeks crawling through that muck, pulling people out. Thousands of people died in the Christmas flood. More still were never found, drowned, or buried alive. We pulled people out of there for a full year. So you show some respect. <laughs> you got anything else to say? No, ma'am. What was that? No, ma'am. Good. All right, fire breathers, get out there and run that course like your friends' lives depend on it.
examination will begin in 15 seconds. Exam initiated. Activate initial checkpoint. Checkpoint activated.
examination will begin in 15 seconds. Exam initiated. Activate initial checkpoint. Checkpoint activated. Return to start. Congratulations, applicant. Please access terminal to initiate final examination briefing. Greetings, applicant. This is Melody Larkin, Fire Breathers Captain. Congratulations on your progress thus far. Until recently, we'd now be moving you on to our final exam. A nice, easy run through an active mind burn. <sighs> but these days, we got bigger fish to fry. The scorched creatures have been pouring through Big Ben Tunnel. Someone has to stop them. And the fire breathers are the only ones with the tools and the know-how to get it done. So, for your final exam, you'll be running a course cooked up by our very own Lieutenant Madigan to get you up to speed on dealing with these scorched. Head on over to the Belch and Betty shaft when you're ready. Our handler bot, Bernie, will get you oriented. Come back alive and human, and you're in.
So how are we gonna kill the boss? Fire breather. Applicant detected. Kit ticket issued. Please collect your gear. Loss of uniform ticket is grounds for immediate dismissal.
Final exam, I'm Hank Madigan, fire breather lieutenant. Exam simple. Reach the bottom of the mine, hit the emergency beacon down there, and come back up. All you gotta do is survive a little slice of living hell. All the scorch that call it home. I get this is extreme. But we need to know if you can hack it before you've got half a dozen other people counting on you. But you're not going in empty-handed, along with your suit been issued a modified 10 millimeter. We figured out the scorch star big fans and depleted ultrasight. Took a field trip to AMS HQ to figure out how to make the stuff, but it's the most effective tool we found for putting them down. So time to prove you can put it to good use. Suit up, strap in, and move out, recruit. Final exam, 
We're supposed to head inside, find the emergency beacon, and watch out for Scorched. Piece of cake. I don't know. If it's so easy, why hasn't anyone else completed the exam? Because they weren't us. We've been hunting Scorched at the farms for days. How much harder could the ones in the mines be? Throw a little backbone. Come on, guys. Let's stick together on this. All right, all right, shut up. Hm? Okay, Scorch Slayers. It's time to lock and load. Let's get the job done.
examinations complete. Congratulations. Issue it. Orientation followed date. Please proceed to Charleston Fire Department. Or company registration. Duty. Assignments require fire breather. System registration. Serving delicious lemonade, lovingly handcrafted with locally sourced ingredients. You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, no bother, I'm out of lemons. I'm fresh out of lemons, so I've had to make do with ingredients that are less ideal. Now serving delicious lemonade, lovingly handcrafted with locally sourced ingredients.
Outstanding support calls, various, one, priority call, accessing. Maria, Melody, whoever's down there, it's Madigan checking in. <laughs> At long last. I'm up here just outside the top of the world and I found something, something I think could be game changing. Don't ask me when I got it. I just need you to send back up up here quick. Dweller. Best guns you can spare. You made Call me you back at this Charles frequency as soon as you can. Madigan out. You can gear up here. Responders, set up this trading post for their fire breathers unit. Fire breathers are the elite of the responders, taking out the scorched one. At a time. You need supplies. I am programmed to trade match made in heaven.